guys in today's video we're going to be installing high tensile electric fencing around permanent electric fencing around the upper field but before we get into that I I'm going to hook through these and make sure I have all the tools check out uh, a wee bit of a repeat on what we did last week just to finish off we did on those few hours just to tidy up a few loose ends have a look and then we'll start fencing He says, is that all right? I says, I'm just glad it fits. Good luck. Job done. <laughs> Job done. Woohoo. Hey, uh I definitely run the bucket, not there. I, I'll tie that up, I know you're paid for time. I, I'm not there because I'm just not throwing the bucket on you. I'll pop it in right. I think the only other time we ever shook hands was the Keith River Weddings. Probably. Guys, the last series of videos that involved the digger and dumper and the groundwork for the yard was shot in a week in a week's hire of the machines and it was a hectic week. I have now spent a couple of few days off, caught up on a bit of sleep and let's recap what we did on the last day because I didn't video it because the weather was bad. If you look down at my car, my car was half in the bank. Trevor tidied it up. This is the finished grade of what the yard's going to be. All heading that way eventually. Another thing we got done. This line of fence posts is running parallel to that line. We graded this, peeled back the turf. That there's the vegetable garden. This is a straight line, it's going with fence, no gate. And there's another thing we did up here that I think you might like to see. What do you think guys? We graded out the stone and we added a pond. This pond, the purpose of this, look, it was an open ditch, it was a ditch anyway. Where the, where the vegetable garden's going to end, where the fence is going to be, a load of soil tipped up and we dug it out quickly because where Trevor had to go somewhere, he was out of time. Now that it is holding water, the, the purpose of it is put stone in and make a bit of a feature out of it because it's going to look sweet, it's going to be beautiful, it's going to keep slug control. Instead of adding slug pellets and killing everything, we're going to create habitat to attract things that eat slugs. Deadly. With that, over time I'll take and the back side where the hedge was, where the tree stumps are now, it's a stone wall to elevation change for the two fields. And I'll over time I'll tidy that all up. Right. It's it's almost noon, but I am going to attempt 
in today's video to go around the perimeter of this upper field putting in permanent high tensile fencing so that's what today's video is about shoot yourself I'm on camera hey there was a mound in there in the corner we leveled it off uh, I was nearly going to put it down in, as yard fill but uh, there's too much dirt in it Trevor said so right we're going to start at this drainer post, go up there, down the far side to the water where the water tank is and the, the upper field gate, house gate, call that house gate. Uh, the difference between doing the lower field and the upper field, I reckon I can probably take a shade about, I'm hoping to do it today, just to be honest with you. Uh, it's giving it, I'm off work today and tomorrow, it's giving it wet tomorrow. Uh, try and get it done today. It's almost, it's also noon. Um, the difference, experience. Brought the tape with me today. Forgot staples. Gonna use nails for now. To get these wires set. I'm gonna go 13 and a half inches across the bottom because the grass is a bit of a torture. So it is. First one. Then we'll go 12, 12, not the way of it. It is today anyway. Jeepers, oh that's high. Right, I'm going 14, 10 and 10. There's the mark there. I went down and measured that. I'm going to end up going over it so 14 10 and 10 should be just over a meter 34 14 10 and 10 over under over under 14 10 10 sounds like my bank account number if any of you want to know what my bank account number is and what throw something into it let me know That'd be sweet. And another thing to remember, which I have learned through you guys, is that this hole feeds, this hole here feeds this post. Go to the far way and then this wire loops over that going that way. That way, so we're, we're actually sitting. It's hard to tell, but I'll show you now in a minute. Right, stop explaining and start doing. Over under. Over. Under. Yeah. Ratchet that up. Get it nice and neat. Over under. Tighten it up. Over, under, over. Over, under. Over, under, over. Right, don't know what I've done. Two hands and two thumbs. What's that? That has to be a good 12 inches. And then... It's like the sheep, it's like shear and sheep, it's all about technique, eh? <laughs> The whole idea of doing the Mexican hat is to make it sit in neat like this here, look. Crank handle. And then just ratchet it. Six turns. Go. 
One. That is sweet. I love that pop. Right, we're gonna show you this. The nails are temporary. This is permanent. The first one, I forgot to come in under. So you go over and then under and then over this one and then under this one, lazy loop, and then whatever way it works for you. That'll not come loose anyway. Um, I got the spacing a wee bit wrong, but sure. I'm, st I'm just winging it. What do you do? Now I've made up a small contraption. And instead of rolling it out like I did the last time, I just pulled it and pulled it out because I, I didn't like the idea of trying to reel, roll that. It's about 600 meters, half a mile. Uh, I'm going to do this and try and reel it to see if it works. Another Mexican's hat. That's a cool name. Hey ho! There we go, guys. Now we have to start the long walk. <laughs> I've got an audience, but I don't think this is going to work so good. Nothing ventured is nothing gained. Not what I was hoping for. Once I get up there and get down to the far side, I'll eventually cut this and hopefully sort it out. This is going to be miles too long. So it is nearby Honsla. Where do you see? But the last thing I wanted to do is cut it too short. Especially on the first run, where we have plenty of wire. <laughs> it's not easy, guys. Not too bad, just enough to go around this, get it secured. Now with that secured, we'll do it again. Right guys, you see that tangled mess? It's not working out. It's getting worse. Where do you see? Look at the cut of that. It's now a ball. I'm not going to be able to do it. There's like several hundred meters, there's a few hundred meters in that still. I'm going to have to cut us. Now, I'm not going to cut it right now, I'm going to try and figure out just a wee bit more. I don't mind poking and pulling and teasing, teasing at it. To, I don't just want to cut it here because it'll end up in more knots here. So we'll try and take out a clump, then we'll try and ravel it. We'll learn you not today, figure of eight. Just going to cut it here. Because six of one half dozen other, I'm lost in the, the month in amongst it anyway. Tell you guys, this is fast coming into one of them videos. There's a, a test of dur endurance and patience. Keep calm, stay laid back. Right, it's a good excuse to stop. The rain's come, and uh, I've got it half untangled. I've had to make about three cuts, but uh, three cuts is better than 50 knots. I've got that wire untangled but not without cutting it. I had to cut it into, I think of like five or six smaller pieces. Oh, mess. Be real careful if you're unwinding that. Some, be real careful if you own it and you're unwinding it. Trust me, it is a handling. Don't let it get. Ah. What was I gonna say, don't let it get tangled. Don't let the road get tangled, save yourself a world of time. I paid the price today for it. I'd actually argue I'm still paying the price for it. We're gonna to have to put one one we're gonna to have to put one joint in figure of eight. Um we'll talk more about that when we get to it. Here this twist it.
just a torture. Okay, how I gathered, come in and foot, or a wee bit more. Put the kink in her, doing the Mexican hat. Come down about 40 mil, boom. An inch and a half, there you have it. A rough old hat. You have to keep tension on us. Keep your having to remember myself. That's deadly. That is deadly. I have these sort of first one is out here, second one's inside of the post, and third one is just all over the show. We get the first two done, third one will come good. Let's go make cuts in the middle and put the ratchets in to join it up again. Tightening that. Actually, we need to go to the other end and secure it to the strainer post first. But here's the corner. This is the short run. So we're going around the corner and going probably somewhere between that strainer post and that fencing post. We're putting these in. This is the ratchet for you. Top strand, bottom strand, short strand. Look, what are we? We're about 40 meters short. Not too bad considering the many knots that was in. That was a real handling to get that undone. What guys, I think I started out wrong by using that blue rope and blue pipe because it just got, I think it spread out and just got all mashed up. Put a spanner in the works. So, don't do that. Is there any pros out there? Please tell me how I'm getting on. I'm starting to learn the wee tricks. Look. Do it like that. Bend it and set it up the inside. That's the over, under, over. Over, under, over. What do you see? So all I have to do now is went ratchet this up. If I can get it. The wee kink in it just to hold it because over, under, over. Lazy loop. Tighten her up. And the reason why these are so long, these cuttings are actually so long, was because I have a lot off it now. The first few knots I was actually trying to do, I was trying to keep it in line, and it was in the most tight, tightest of spots of the whole, the whole job. So it wasn't a help. Come on, Pete, Pete, focus. See, whenever I start talking to you, I start losing concentration. I think you really should be wearing safety glasses for this car. Watch that wire spinning around. It's been nasty. Come on, let me hear you. Beautiful. How many of you have noticed that two out of the three nails, the, what, the wire was on the wrong side? That was me talking to you and I didn't, wasn't paying attention. Right guys, now we've got the corner brace and put in the eyelets.
good 14, 10 and 10. Inches that is. I'm gonna have to invest in a new set of pliers, I think. It's not easy. Right. So this is just more knots. Put it in a bit. Bend it over, keep a handle on it. Laddy, 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 same old, same old. I'm doing. Come on, Betty. There you go. These are also Gallagher's, these ratchets. I got them off uh, I Great Care Trade also. It's part of the kit. I forgot to go through the eyelet. Down the corner. Right, let's go. Back up here again. It's a lot of walking and fencing. A lot of walking involved in farming. I seem to be doing a lot of walking anyway. One can of down, two to go. Right, this is as much me talking to you as it is anything else, so. That's that way, so I'm going under. Under, over, under, uh, 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 YouTube. So what we've actually done, is we've done two of them. You pull it up. There's your figure eight. Boom! Bend these so that you don't hurt myself. And let's go down here and tighten it up. All the markers are saying, saying all the all the all the signs is telling me to quit. It's raining and it's dinner time and the wife is just off the phone to me wanting me to lift the boys. <laughs> right. I'm going nowhere to these three are linked together. And then we'll finish it the next day. Not totally finished, but it is what it is. What do you do? I lost three hours with them wires, and I didn't start. What do you think of my haircut? That was one of the reasons. This dude is gonna be cutting it from now on, I think. Young Barber, 19. Mo, he's called. He done a deadly haircut. The best one I've had yet, I think. Guys, there's about 50 seconds left in the memory card. The battery's almost done. We've got these three, bottom, middle, top. Wife rang, have to go lift the kids. So, next video, we're gonna finish this off, hook it up to the power line down there, the the existing power line, the, the, the high-tend side wire fence in the lower field, link the two, get the sheep up here, job's good. Guys, thanks for watching, see you in the field.